2023 has come to an end, and so it feels like a good time to try and predict Inazuma 11's 2024. I'm going to go through all 12 months in the year and try and guess what Inazuma 11 will do in that month. This is obviously just for fun and will be complete and utter guesses. But if any of them do turn out to be true, I am an absolute genius. Please let me know down in the comments, by the way, what your guys' predictions are and we can see who gets the most right. Without further ado then, let's dive straight in with January. I think January is going to be quite a quiet month for Inazuma 11. I don't think we'll really get anything. Um, I think we may just maybe get like a quick tweet from Hino, maybe, maybe two tweets with a bit of art, like a screenshot of the beta. Just very vague stuff. Whilst in February though, I do think we get a final trailer for the beta and a release date announcement. For the beta, that is. I mean like a specific day it's coming out. This final trailer, I think, will just show off really what the beta is all about. Any uh, last minute features for the match system, any players that we don't know, stuff like that. Basically just setting up the beta so that when it comes out, everyone knows what to expect. Then in March, I think we get a beta tutorial video, and then I think the beta comes out on March 20th. Why March 20th? I, I don't know. I don't have any real evidence for that or anything to base that theory off. Just my mind says March 20th. Obviously, the beta releases to critical acclaim. Everybody loves it. Everybody loses their mind. I play it for hours and get 100,000 subscribers playing the beta. I'm sure, but April is going to be a very quiet month. It's just people playing the beta and Inazuma 11, Inazuma level five gathering feedback. Hino sends out a few tweets going like, how are you guys enjoying the beta? And that's really it. Everyone is just grateful that Inazuma 11 is back and alive. In May, we get the first patch for the beta. It's mostly just bug fixes, but maybe there's a couple of new characters thrown in there. Who knows, maybe some characters who weren't initially included in the beta, we can now use this time. And then June is the big boy month. Brand new Victory Road trailer where we get the actual release date for the game. It's coming September 14th. This trailer also shows off a bunch of new teams who are going to be in the main story for the game and announces a big beta tournament that will be happening worldwide that everyone can try and participate in. And in July, that tournament happens and TXM wins it. You heard it here first. The tournament will be called Something Cute like the football frontier, it'll be, I don't I have no idea. It'll be something cute. And the winner's team will be included as a secret competition route boss in Victory Road in the full game. And we'll have like an NPC named after them or something. August then, we get the final trailer for the game and it's a big boy one. It goes over all the previous details that have already been announced whilst also showing off, obviously, the, some more teams, maybe some new characters, some new special moves. It's just super, super hype. And then in September, Victory Road releases September 14th. And it is incredible. It's the greatest video game ever made. We all lose our minds, and it sells out instantly. Strangely, though, the iOS and Android versions don't release, and we don't hear anything about them all year. And in October, they're unceremoniously removed off of the website, implying that they have just been cancelled. Outside of that though, October is a very quiet month, similar to what I said about April. It's just people playing the game, level five, gathering some feedback, lots of fun Hino tweets. November sees Hino tweet out an announcement for the first big Victory Road thing post-launch. Whether that's an update, a tournament, or whatever season type battle pass thing they're doing. I'm gonna say it's a tournament type thing. I don't know. I can't remember. I, I don't... What, I don't know what exactly they're going to do. I can't remember. Slash I'm too stupid to, to understand. But whatever it is, it's happening in January. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's somewhat related to the descendants of Axel Blaze. What does that mean? I have no idea. But I'm saying it anyway. And then in December, the final month of the year, let's get a bit Christmassy. Let's make a bold, bold prediction. I think in December 2024, we are going to get an announcement for a new Inazuma 11 anime. And by announcement, I mean absolute vaguest possible announcement. I mean Hino tweeting out, this is something that is being worked on. Maybe not even that, maybe an ambassador tweeting out, this is something that is potentially being worked on. Just I think it'll be a sign of life that Inazuma 11 will continue post Victory Road. And yes, I know I'm being so optimistic and hopeful right now and probably a bit stupid, but 
I'm believing. I'm manifesting. December 2024, we find out something about a Victory Road anime. And Twitter goes wild. Assuming Twitter hasn't burned to the ground yet. But there you have it. That's my prediction for Inazuma 11's 2024. What do you guys think is going to happen? Make sure you let me know down in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe because while I did say January was going to be a quiet month for Inazuma 11, for the YouTube channel TXM-Tom Spoors, uh, I think it may be a slightly more interesting month. And you'll find out more about that soon. I'll see you guys in the next video though. Bye.